what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 4 Let's Play Seasons. So in the last part, if you missed it, quick little recap, Clara put together her spooky day party for a spooky day and it was very awkward. We have a love triangle going on. She obviously has a soon-to-be beau relationship. Seemed to be going very well between her and Scott. She had not told Wyatt that she was, you know, kind of seeing somebody, talking to somebody. He was completely shocked to find her flirting with this guy. This guy just comes up in his house, you know, where he's living and just making moves on the woman that he's deep down. Obviously got major feelings for and it was written all over his face. It was very awkward. Scott noticed, kind of called Clara out on it and it was just very awkward. Um, the end of the part, Claire was kind of like, you know, I mean, we need to talk. So I think at the, towards the end of this part, not right now, we are going to have Claire and Wyatt finally sit down and try to come to terms with their feelings and what the heck is going on and why everybody is so concerned that there is something going on between the two of them. But right now, I wanted to spend some time with Carter because I feel like we've been neglecting him a little bit, but he does have some plans up his sleeve tomorrow, which will be the next part of Seasons. We will be having our Harvest Fest Thanksgiving, whatever you want to call it, dinner, and he will be proposing to Sophia. And in the last part, we also found out that Dalton aged up, which is Sophia's son, who was a toddler. I was not expecting him or wanting him to age up so soon, but you know what? It's okay. We're going to roll with it. Um, so anyways, yeah, we're going to spend a little bit of time with Carter today. He actually went and picked up, he left work early, and he picked up Dalton from school and brought him over here to the arcade, uh, we was planning on going to the park, but everywhere I went, it was raining. I tried every different neighborhood, and it's just, it's a rainy day everywhere today, all across the board. Uh, so he brought him over here to the arcade, so I'm going to have them play a cute little arcade with each other. Um, arcade, play an arcade game with each other. And just kind of hang out and whatnot. And he's not going to tell him, hey, I'm proposing to your mom. It looks like Dalton's kind of getting on his nerves a little bit. He's being a little bit of a pest. Um, he's not going to tell him the big news, hey, I'm proposing to your mom tomorrow. Because see, uh, he has the want to get engaged to Sophia. I'm not sure why he has his umbrella open indoors. So don't you know that is bad luck? You, you about to get stomped in this game. You just set yourself up for failure, boy. You sure did. But anyways, yeah. He has that want to get engaged to her. So we will have a proposal in the next part, which I'm so freaking excited about for these um this little family here to get started um i think obviously eventually uh, sophia and dalton will move in with carter or possibly carter may get a house you know for the three of them and let Wyatt stay there and Claire. I'm not really sure. We'll have to figure it out. But it looks like, real quick, Wyatt has been promoted to development captain. Wyatt has been promoted to development captain. He will now make an additional $5 per hour for a grand total of 78 Okay, cool. All right, so he is making some money moves. Look at him go. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just really wanted them to have a little bit of a bonding moment. They're not going to be too late because, you know, it is a Wednesday. It is a school night. And he does have school. And Carter, of course, wants to see Sophia, so we're just going to hang out here a bit, let him play his games, let him go watch a movie, whatever his little heart desires, and then we're going to take him back home so we can see our girl, our woman, give her some lovin's. All right, so it looks like these two are playing against each other. They're playing my racing. What's it called? My go racing? Something like that. I'm not even sure. I mean, as much as I play The Sims, you would think that I know these little details, but honestly, I, I don't. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I don't know. They're just kind of like talking. And okay, so I had mentioned this before, but let me go ahead and give you guys a quick little backstory for those of you who missed it and curious to find out the history between Carter and his girlfriend, or soon to be fiance, Sophia. So... They grew up with each other. They, you know, went to grade school, middle school, high school with each other. They were friends. Not very good friends, but just kind of like acquaintances. Um, they went to college. Uh, they went to separate colleges, though. And when they got back to the hometown, um, he, they kind of started seeing each other and running into each other. And obviously, he knew her from high school. And they just kind of clicked. She actually ended up getting pregnant in high school. Um, so she didn't get to finish uh, college or whatever. And so she was never really into the dating scene because she was so protective of Dalton and she didn't, you know, want to, you know, 
rush into anything because she had been so hurt that Dalton's father just kind of knocked her up and abandoned both of them. And it was a lot of hurt for her to get over. But, you know, Carter was a great friend. It started off a very, you know, innocent little friendship. And then the feelings were just there. And um, he's been her shoulder to cry on. And they just, they fell in love in the process. And he fell in love with this little boy, watched him grow up. So Dalton doesn't know his real father. I'm not really sure if his real father will eventually come into the picture. He might decide he wants to. But as far as Dalton is concerned, Carter is basically his daddy. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think it's really cute. He doesn't, you know, really understand you know, what, what's going on with his real dad. I mean, obviously he knows Carter's not his real dad. He's old enough to know. Um, but, you know, he knows his dad, you know, didn't, you know, want nothing to do with him. And, you know, Carter has stepped up and he loves Carter. He idolizes Carter. He always has. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited to, to see this little family grow. And, you know, of course we're going to give him a little brother or sister once they get married and everything, but we're just having them chat. He's just asking him, you know, about spooky day and telling him how much he liked his costume and asking him about school. And he's excited tomorrow is harvest fest and he doesn't have to go to school. Mom's letting him stay home. And he's so excited because Aunt Clara is going to be cooking and he loves Aunt Clara's cooking and he can't wait to see Bella and Wyatt. Ah, oh, they're so excited but it is seven o'clock it's getting kind of late we're gonna have carter go use the potty real quick and then we're going to take dalton back home and see if we can um you know spend a little bit of time with sophia all right so he has arrived at the braswell house to drop dalton off home and looks like sophia is out here greeting us with a cute little song so let's give her an embrace he's feeling flirty because she's serenading him and she's just asking him how it went he's like yeah of course it was so much fun we had a great time you know i love that kid to death and She's like, yeah, well, you know what? I love you both so much. Let's give her a passionate kiss. And of course, um, well, we don't have to knock on the door because we are here. So, oh, look at them. They're so freaking cute. I love it. She has no idea that he is about to just put a ring on it. And they're about to be freaking family goals. I, I just, I love them. I love them so much. So, um... I want to make sure I don't see her parents. I was hoping they were home because, unfortunately, it doesn't look like he is familiar with her mom. And we do want her to be at the party tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I want him to come over here and continue to just, like, talk to her. Um, you know, uh, compliment her outfit. He's got his little hoodie on. Not hoodie. His little beanie. I can't even talk. I don't even know. <laughs> but I'm just kind of going to hang out here with them a little bit. These two. I mean, they're... I mean, they, they're spitting images of each other besides the fact he looks, you know, not nothing like her. He doesn't have her red hair, but their personality is the same. And I just I love Sophia so much. She's got such a cute freaking style, and she... Oh, she's such a sweetheart. He is absolutely in love. She has stolen his heart, and you know what? He's just so freaking thankful for her, and he couldn't be more excited that Harvest Fest, you know, just falls, you know, on this specific time in their relationship where they're just growing so freaking close, you know? And because he's thankful for her, and, you know, she's changed his life. She's given him basically a son, um... Even though, you know, it's not his son biologically, you know, that's his son. And, you know, she, he, he's just freaking thankful for her, thankful for them. So in love, so in love. All right, so here is her mother, Christy Braswell. For some reason, we're not familiar with her. So we're going to introduce ourselves, and then we do know her dad, right? Apparently not. Let's give a cheerful introduction to her dad, even though I'm pretty sure in a previous part we already did all this, but apparently didn't work out. I don't know why she's not, um, she had that little X over her face. I don't know. She's like, really? Why, why, what is going on? Why are you, like, all of my parents' business? Like, what? Like, you don't even know. I'm about to ask them for your hand in marriage. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, we gotta do that. I wish that was something that we could do. You could do that in The Sims 3, right? Couldn't you ask you could. You could ask for their hand in marriage. Why can't we do that? It's the little things I miss so much. All right. Um, okay, let's... Uh, I, the only way we're going to be able to get him away from everybody is to add him to a group. Um, and then let's come out here and sit together um, and just have a conversation, you know, with her dad. Hopefully, just her dad. Hopefully, he's the only one that comes as a group, like, sit here together. I mean, I don't want to talk to you through the freaking 
Jeez, I don't want to talk to you through here. Okay, you know what? This is just annoying the piss out of me. Um, where can we go to have this conversation away from everybody else? Not upstairs in the bedroom. That's a little freaking weird. Are you, what are you doing? You're not going to sleep in their house. I guess we can come out here and sit. Um, I thought we were in a group where we could sit together, but apparently we're not in a group anymore. Okay, guys, this is like pissing me off. Okay, add to group. Let's come sit together because we do want to ask him for her hand in marriage because he is a gentleman and I definitely see him, you know, being the one to just ask her father, just kind of confess his love to her. Um, he's like, son, it's freaking freezing outside. Why are, what, what are you doing? It's late. It's cold. And he's like, well, sir, Mr. Braswell, I, I really just wanted to get you away from uh, Sophia long enough to just tell you that I absolutely freaking love your daughter, you know, your daughter and your grandson has completely 100% changed my life. I'm thankful to be a part of y'all's family. Thank you so much for just, you know, welcoming me in with open arms. And I just, I really want to ask, you know, if I can marry your daughter, do I have your permission to ask your daughter to marry me? And he's like, yes, of course. Wow. You know, we've always wanted this for Sophia. You know, she went through a really hard time, you know, with... Dalton's dad and we didn't know if she'd ever be happy or just let her guard down to let somebody in but you've really softened her heart and you've made her so happy which as a father that's all I could want so yes you make my grandson happy I would love to have you as my son-in-law and he's like okay awesome great I'm so excited um and he's telling him you know I plan on doing it tomorrow I know my family's uh harvest fest dinner of course you and miss miss christy are invited and i'd love to see y'all both there and he's like yeah of course we'll be there <laughs> so yay okay it's official they are getting married um well he's asking her they're not getting married yet but you know he's gonna ask her hopefully she'll say yes oh my gosh we need to get dalton to bed is there any way we can like oh he's outgrown his little toddler bed we can put doll oh my gosh how freaking cute yes we're gonna go in here and put him to bed and then we're gonna leave he's gonna go and give obviously Sophia a little kiss she's so freaking exhausted from work you know, that single mom life that he's just gonna give her a little kiss on the cheek and let her know that he is leaving but he has tucked Dalton in and it's late and he cannot wait to see them tomorrow <sighs> look at them y'all so freaking sweet oh I love it all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get Carter home Alrighty, so it is the next morning it's actually quite early and we had Carter come home last night. He is upstairs using the bathroom. We're going to take a shower and get all ready. Today is Harvest Fest Day, so we do have to plan our event, which the big dinner and everything will be in the next part that you see. But right now, we're about to have the long-awaited chat between Clara and Wyatt. He is up this morning um, cooking some breakfast. I think he's cooking some fruit and yogurt parfait or something. And, yeah, they're going to finally have a chat. They've kind of been ignoring each other recently. Uh, well, I mean, it's only been a day, and they've been busy with work um so yeah let's go ahead and just like have this conversation let me make sure we have freaking Wyatt not Wyatt I'm sorry I get them so confused I noticed in the last part I got their name I kept calling Car Wyatt Carter I hope you guys didn't <laughs> didn't catch on to that or mind too much I just get a little bit ahead of myself sometimes but we're gonna make sure he's preoccupied let's maybe just be have him take a bubble bath or something uh because he always tends to come up in their conversations and just kind of ruin the the, the little intimate you know, chat they're having here, but anyways, I want her to, let's see, we're going to ask about his day, of course, and then let's <laughs> ask to just be friends. We're going to have a deep conversation, um, and she's just going to like, look, you know, I told you I wanted to chat with you, and he's like, yeah, I think we do need to talk, and she's like, um, well, I mean, what what was the deal with the party the other night? You know, why why was you acting that way towards Scott? You know, <laughs> and he's like, well, I mean, it's nothing personal. It's just I I don't honestly, Claire, I don't know. It made me jealous for some reason. And she's like, but why? You know, we're friends. I thought we we're friends. And he's like, well, I mean, are we? Can you honestly look at me and tell me that we're just friends? And you know, she's like, I mean. I, I don't know. We've 
we've never really talked about it. And he's like, well, I can tell you that when I found out that Stevie was pregnant, the first thing I thought about was you and what you was going to think. And, you know, what could this possibly mean for us? Because, you know what, I feel something between us, and I think you feel it too. And she's like, what? And he's like, I mean, if I'm wrong, tell me, you know? And she's like, I, I can't tell you that you're wrong. It's just, it's, con it's confusing, you know, but, but Stevie, and he's like, yeah, but Stevie, yeah, that's a situation. I know it is. And I know that right now, I don't think there's anything possible that can happen between us until I sort things out. But I just, while you're asking what's going on, I want to know do you have feelings for me, you know, and, uh, you know, she's, he's just gonna have to, you really kind of get on her level here, um, maybe, I don't know, kind of hold her hands, kind of get, like, close with her, because she is just kind of, like, denying it, and just kind of, like, brushing him off, like, you know, just ignoring the question, do you have feelings for me, Claire? You're, you're asking about feelings, and I need to know. I mean, do you have feelings for me? Uh, but anyways, I guess he's going to go upstairs or in here. Where, where is he going? Upstairs to, to wash his dishes? And then he's going to come down here and hold her hands and finish the conversation. How rude. He just walked off in the middle of their conversation. How typical. But anyways, yeah. She just keeps, like, brushing him off. So he's going to have to go down here, just grab a hold of her, and be like, look... Yeah, I like you. I know there's something going on between me and you. You can't tell me that there's not. But you're right. I do have to figure things out with Stevie and what I'm going to do. I am going to be a father. She's like, yeah, I guess you're right. There is something between us. I can't deny it either. And it's really confusing. And I'm very upset. I've been trying to push it back. And he's like, well, don't get upset, okay? You know, we're going to figure it out. Uh, but I don't want to hold you back from Scott do you like Scott? She's like, yeah, of course I like Scott. He's good looking. He likes me. He treats me nice. He's like, well, I want you to explore that. I don't want to hold you back. Me telling you that, yes, I have feelings for you. I don't want that to hold you back or hinder your, you know, relationship in any way. I apologize for how I was acting. I, if I have to, I will apologize to Scott, but I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, it, it really just hit me in the gut and made me realize that I do care about you, and I, I do have these feelings for you, and it is an inconvenience in a way that this has happened with Stevie, but, you know, that's my child, and I do care about her, and I do love her, but that doesn't, you know, excuse my feelings for you that are on a completely different level, you know, but I don't want to hinder that relationship, so don't get upset. I want, you know, you to just focus on Scott. Let me figure out what I'm going to do with Stevie. I know how are we going to be able to do this now after we just had this conversation, Especially tonight when we're all together for Harvest Fest. Hopefully it's not another awkward freaking ah, dinner. I don't want to take it away from Carter because they both know Carter's, you know, apologizing. He's like, you know, we're going to be friends. It's fine, you know. And she's like, okay, yeah, we'll figure it out. So, yeah, they had the chat. They've established that, yes, they definitely do have feelings for each other. But it's just a matter of their circumstances and you know I think it's really mature of him to say I want you to figure out what's going on with you and Scott first things first because you know while I'm figuring out what I'm going to do with my child and you know Stevie you need to explore that and see if there's anything you know with him you know there there hasn't been much time for y'all to explore that and oh I don't know I'm just I'm excited I'm excited to see what happens but yeah Carter is kind of just standing here like um kind of overheard a bit of the conversation he's like oh, okay awkward yeah don't steal my thunder tonight guys I'm proposing <laughs> but before we end this part I'm gonna go ahead I guess and we're going to go ahead and plan the event for Harvest Fest so we're going to do a dinner party I want to have them all be the host. We're going to invite over Scott, Rusty, Sophia, Dalton, Christy, and Stevie. Um, I think that's it because it's just going to be you know their close personal friends and family because it will be a proposal. So oh my gosh, I just I hope this isn't awkward. <laughs> Okay, we're going to find out. We don't need a caterer because we have Claire. She will cook for us, and we're going to have it at our home, and we're going to have the dinner at 5 p.m. Sounds perfect. All righty. So, I believe what we have to do before we end this part to prepare for the proposal, um, we're going to have her, well, okay, 
we're going to take down these decorations and I think there's a complete separate um, Harvest Fest decorations so select holiday decorations uh, or put up decorations yes okay so that's um, for Harvest Fest it's not spooky day anymore so that's perfect all right yeah I don't know uh, this is interesting because for the rest of the day now they're going to be like skirting around each other and just kind of trying to pretend that they didn't just have this conversation where they admitted they have feelings for each other <laughs> awkward um yeah they have a dinner coming up tonight they both know that they have to explore things with their relationships she's going to be seeing him all over stevie you know the baby bump and that's just going to bring back all these confusing feelings for her which i think honestly is going to have her push him away the more she sees stevie and know that there is a child coming and she does not want to tear her family apart no way no way absolutely no freaking way um, so that's another conversation they're going to have because deep down in her heart, she she can't do that. She can't tear her family apart. You know, even if there is real feelings between them, we're just going to have to see how it goes. And of course, I think it's going to upset Wyatt, you know, seeing her and Scott. Hopefully Scott doesn't get mad at Wyatt. <laughs> I don't know. I just hope it's not awkward. But I'm so freaking excited for Carter. Look at him. He has got all day to psych himself up. He's going to definitely need to have some like time with Wyatt. Just kind of like, you know, pump him up because he will be you know, proposing, and he has to find out, you know, where they're going to live, you know, when the wedding's going to be, all of that, um, hey, I need to get out of the house, want to join me for breakfast, no, Stevie, we'll see you later, I know, we're so rude, I hate these freaking gnomes, honestly, they just get on my nerves, they just show up everywhere, <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here, um, yeah, so a lot of things coming up soon, a lot of fun, a lot of drama coming, I'm really loving how this storyline is taken, um, it's course, you know, obviously it wasn't forced. A lot of things happened to my surprise that I was not expecting. Um, her face, she's like, eh, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> anyway, y'all, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave all your comment suggestions in the comment sections down below. That came out really freaking weird. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to y'all later.